You know, I started this journey hoping to find my sister. But now, I want more. I want to save the future. So do I, Sarah. So do I. Time to travel again. Koopo? Find the gate and the key, Koopo! Right now, we don't have a clue what the artifact might be. There are still some places we haven't checked out. We should try asking some of the people around here. They might know something that will help. Oh, we just met again. And now you're gonna leave? What's the big rush? I'll try to help in any way I can. The director came by earlier to tell us you've been granted special access to the excavation site. The area where they found the Oracle Drive is up ahead. It's exciting to think there may be other amazing objects buried there too. Nothing to report today. Important relics have been detected nearby. Who knows? Any one of them might lead to an extraordinary discovery. Get it. She's the director's right-hand woman. Some people out there are saying she charmed her way into the position, but I don't buy it. You have to have brains to hold down that kind of job. Have you heard about this legend? Many years ago, there was a young girl who worshipped the seeress of Padra. With much training and dedication, the girl secured herself a position as one of the protectors of the seeress. But when war broke out in the city, the girl was fooled by the enemy and wound up betraying the one she set out to protect. Charged with treason, the girl faced severe punishment. She was turned into a Seath, who was forced to wander the Yashes Massif for all of eternity. According to the legend, she's still there, waiting for someone to defeat her and help put her soul to rest. I don't know how much truth there is to that story, but if you ever spot a Seath in the ruins, you should do it justice and kill it. You'd be doing it a favor by putting it out of its misery. If you want to set her free, I won't stop you. But remember, even though she used to be a human being, she's a monster now. Stay on your toes out there, or you'll end up losing your life. Excuse me, I don't mean to take up too much of your time, but did you see some strange lights last night? Someone witnessed three stars falling from the sky. I thought it could be a meteorite of some sort, but there's no evidence of that anywhere. It's possible it burned up before it reached our atmosphere. If you see anything that looks out of place, please let me know. I'm counting on you. Come to me if you notice anything strange. By the way, the witnesses noticed something interesting about the stars. They said that all three of them were different colors. Three different colored stars falling from the sky. 
It sounds like it could be connected to something quite mystical, don't you think? I'll take a look if you find anything. The witnesses claim that three different colored... I've been praying for the souls of the dead. Everything changed on that horrific day. Ten years ago. A lot of time has passed since then, and the wounds of many have healed. But I will never forget what happened. I couldn't show that kind of disrespect to the dead. I used to believe that if we solved the mystery of the paradox, we'd be able to rewind time and fix the past. But I've come to realize that that's not what they would have wanted. What we have to do is create a peaceful world and live for the future. Various records of magic and sorcery are being uncovered in the Padra ruins. There was a spell to summon Eidolans. It was a forbidden art, though, as it shortened the conjurer's lifespan. The people of the past must have lived in fear of, but had respect for, ones who held such powers. to be in perfect order. Some might say I'm obsessed, but it's just my personality. Remember the purge ten years ago? The Sanctum forced people to relocate. Apparently, both Alyssa and the director were victims of that unfortunate event. That's probably why they understand each other so well. can change the future, can't we? We can, and we will. Then we can go back to homes that we've made safe. Lightning. Thanks to hope, 
I can see light at the end of the tunnel. He told us that if we solve the paradox, we can save the future. Meanwhile, in his own way, and in his own time, Hope is working toward the same goal. Together, we can keep Cocoon safe. And if we do, then I know I'll be able to bring you home. I believe this with all my heart. is this place? Whoops, wrong turn. Mm. I guess if we don't resolve the paradox, this place will stay suspended in limbo. Doesn't look like there are any other gates, either. Go back to the Historia Crux, Kubo. Yeah, Mog is right. We should turn back. Kubo! You mean Valhalla? Could lightning be here? No. Something's different. Oh, oh. This isn't Valhalla. It looks like it's sure, but it's not the same. Oh, oh. This is the rift between gate and gate. It's the void beyond, Kubo. So, are you saying we're lost? Oh, oh. Oh, 
people. I need a break. Finding my sister isn't gonna be easy. We had a legend back home about a goddess. Huh? We hunters passed the story down from father to son. It gave us strength when times were tough. What was it? Never give up, for the goddess Etro watches always and helps those who help themselves. <laughs> it's not much of a legend, really, is it? It sounds more like common sense to me. <laughs> yeah. But when the going gets rough, you don't need anything complicated. Just a reminder to stick things out. Let's just keep telling ourselves that every time we go through a gate, we're getting closer to lightning. Sound good? Come on! <laughs> Sounds good. This really seems weird enough. How is it different from Valhalla? The void is simply a shadow of Valhalla. It's a space that connects the gate's entrance and exit, Kupo. Let's go check it out. No way past this point, huh? and memory, frozen in crystal. Sarah and Noel return from Erba to find that by changing the future, they have also changed the past. Hope's memories are different, and the prophecy recorded on the Oracle Drive now shows a horrific scene. They see the end of the world as Caius causes Cocoon to plummet into pulse. Sarah, Noel, and Hope strike a pact. They resolve to work together in their own timelines to avert the prophesied catastrophe.